In this video, I'm going to walk through how to set up an email client on your computer to work with your WebStarts business emails. And while you can always use the web-based client we provide in your account, you may be more comfortable with something like Microsoft Outlook or Apple Mail. Today we're going to be setting up Apple Mail on my Mac, but all mail clients use the same server info we'll be providing, so it's just a matter of entering that info in the appropriate fields and you should be set. Let's go ahead and start by opening up the Apple Mail app on my computer, and then click the Mail tab followed by Add Account. Now if you're familiar with Apple Mail at all, you'll see, you're going to see that they have options to add a iCloud, Exchange, Google, or Gmail. Um, we're going to choose the other mail account in this uh, example and then click continue. Now the first step is to enter the information for the email. Uh, the name is going to be pre-populated by the name associated with my machine. Um, you can change that if it's specific to this email address. Um, but in this example, we'll go ahead and leave it my name and then we'll enter the email address and password that I set up when creating this account and then click sign in. Uh, and then it pre-populates, of course, the email address and the password. Uh, the username, you can leave it automatic. I like to just reiterate it because the username is, of course, the email address. Um, so I like to add that. Uh, make sure that you choose IMAP. Now you can set it up with IMAP or POP. Under normal conditions, uh, the settings that we're going to provide for this account would require IMAP to be chosen. And then enter in the incoming and outgoing mail server, which is mail.b.hostedemail.com, .hosted and then click Sign In. Uh, you can choose to associate uh, that email address to a notes account and an email account. Uh, that's up to you. I'm just going to choose mail and then I'm going to click done. And that's it. You can see that it's connecting. Once it's connected, you are ready to go. So uh, as of right now, I could send and receive email from this email without any issue. And of course, I would suggest testing that to make sure everything's good. But if you got a good connection, uh, you didn't get any errors, you should be ready to go. As always, should you have any questions about setting up your email account or web starts in general, be sure to reach out and let us know. Thanks.